I just spent $116 at that last yard sale. To Kurt Curtis, it's Sunday night. I'm gonna be pulling my orders to ship tomorrow morning. I have um, five items, but four orders. So I'll pull those items right now. First thing I sold is this Under Armour cold gear compression shirt, like long sleeve. I actually bought this for myself. Um, I paid $6 for it, but uh, when I tried it on when I got home, I didn't really like it, so I ended up uh, listing it and ended up selling for $19.99. Had to dig this box out. Uh, next order is someone bought two items. These I got for a dollar at Walmart clearance. Um, I have like two colors. They're like Halloween doll tights. Um, white and a nude. Um, yeah, so I paid a dollar each for those and they sold for $6.49 each, but this person bought two, so their order was $12.98. And it helps that uh, I get to save on shipping by shipping two at once. Next thing I sold is an Apple iPod Touch, first generation, eight gig. Nothing crazy, really. Uh, I believe I got this for two bucks. Ended up selling for fourteen ninety nine. It does work. It's all tested and everything's fine with it. And the last thing is this Element skateboarding T-shirt, size small. Um, I think I paid a dollar for this, maybe two. I'm not really sure. Ended up selling for eleven forty nine. It's Monday night. Pulling two orders to ship tomorrow morning. Um, first thing I sold. There's a lot of calico critters. We're just easy yet. The seven hopscotch rabbits. Uh, I got a whole bucket of this stuff for $14. Uh, just I made a bunch of little lots like this with uh, similar critters. Uh, selling the first one, I already doubled my money, and I've sold a couple other ones, and now here's another one. Um, this ended up selling for $18.99. Pretty good. And the next item is this little board game, Sunset Over Water, sealed. Um, yeah, I have, like, I think, like five of these. This is the first one that sold. It ended up selling for $22.74. It's Tuesday night. I sold two things that I need to pull and pack for tomorrow morning. Um, sold another lot of calico critters. Uh, there should be a lot of elephants somewhere in here. Here they are. These sold for $14.24, free shipping. And the second item, nothing crazy here, just a kid's Spider-Man t-shirt. Probably got this for 59 cents or 69 cents or a dollar. Uh, sold for $5.49, free shipping. It's Wednesday night. Um, typically, I'd be making this video tomorrow morning because I'd have the day off and I'd pack my orders then, but I'm being forced to work overtime, so I'm going to have to get what I sold packed up tonight so I can drop it off tomorrow morning. Uh, it sucks because I kind of wanted to list a lot of stuff tomorrow. And I'll still be able to, but not as much as I'd like because I have to work. Yeah, um, first thing I sold is this DS slot. <coughs> Headphones, charger, car charger, case, and a red DS. It's all tested, clean, it works, everything's all good. <coughs> I got a bunch of DS stuff in a bucket for 20 bucks um, with a bunch of games and all that. And um, I sold this like this, and I sold, I'm selling the game separately. This case was actually from something else that I just had lying around, so I was able to use that case to, to put in this lot. But yeah, uh, this sold for $44.99 free shipping. Next up is this uh, Universal Remote. It is. It's actually sold pretty quick, I'm surprised. Uh, sealed in the package, but the package is a little janky. Sold for $9.99, free shipping. And the last thing I'm shipping out tomorrow is a Wii game. It is actually new sealed uh, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Uh, this was a lucky find. I got this in a thrift store for two bucks. Um, typically that won't happen. I usually don't have that kind of luck at thrift stores. This ended up selling for $25.49 free shipping. Not too bad. All right, it's uh, Friday morning. Um, I only have two orders to, to pull. 
and ship um, both small things so it won't even require a trip to the post office just into the blue drop box down the block but um yeah so originally the plan was to go to an estate sale and two yard sales but um it's it's looked like it rained overnight and it's kind of drizzling now so I'm not sure if the yard sales will be up and running but I'll at least go to the estate sale and then uh you know just see how it is after and see if it's worth uh, making the trip but um yeah uh yesterday I listed 11 things so not too bad, but I wish I could have done a little more. But um, yeah, I'll pull these orders and then uh, get on with the day. First order is, here they are. Actually, these two Dungeons and Dragons little book things. I lot it up. I got these for either 25 cents or 50 cents each, and they ended up selling for $18.99. <clears throat> and from now on, when I do listings in the custom SKU label, I'm going to uh, start putting what I paid for things. So if something doesn't sell for a while, I remember what I paid for it. Um, I think I'm going to need that for tax purposes anyway, but um, it'll just be good. So I'm not just like, yeah, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but I sold it for this. It'll take a while for everything to update, but that's what I'm going to start doing. That's what I started doing yesterday. But yeah, $18.99, not too bad. And the second thing is also in the bookshelf. It's a sealed DVD from the lot I just picked up. So I have less than a dollar in each of these uh, going my way. Some movie sealed. It's just crazy, like this sold pretty quickly, and it wasn't even the cheapest. Um, it sold for $9.99, but it's just crazy like how many people are actually out there and shopping on eBay. Like, who is looking for this, like that it's up for like two days and someone buys it? Like, it's just, it's nuts, but yeah, $9.99, not bad. Yeah, this is how I pack these things, it's not too crazy. Um, for the books, I just bubble wrap them. I don't know, it's probably unnecessary, but I just like, so the protection don't get like dinged up in the corners and stuff. Since these are two, you know, pretty small books, I can just shove this into this padded envelope and it'll be fine. Now, if this was like a little set of books, the stack was like this high or something, then I would put it in a box and put like <clears throat> void fill paper around. But something uh, like this small, yeah, it just goes in this. And uh, for DVDs or video games, like I use the same size uh, envelope and I just, it slots right in, fits perfect, you know, seal it up. Now, if this was an expensive, like a 40 or $50 game, I would probably bubble wrap it and then put it in actually like a bigger envelope just you know just to be careful because it's a more valuable item but for something like 10 bucks like just goes right in here i've never had a problem with any uh, damage or anything like that because these you know these are bubble these are bubble wrap like in there too but yeah that's that's how i go about doing that and then also here so um you're gonna round up so this weighs on this little scale, 7.7, so it's going to be shipped for 8 ounces. Um, this is media mail. Um, most of you probably know, but if you don't know what media mail is, books, uh, movies, music, like CDs, cassettes, even like printed music, um, gets shipped, you can ship it media mail, and it's supposed to take 2 to 8 days, so it takes longer than first class, but it's it's really cheap. Um, like you could, you can ship stuff for just way cheaper than it would, it would be priority. So when, when you see me sell these giant book lots that probably weigh like, you know, five to 10 pounds for all the books, like it's not, it's not that expensive to ship because of that. However, the post office does have the right to like open your package and check it. Um, if they have question, uh, if you're like, you know, abusing the system, but, um, yeah, I always just follow the rules and, uh, I've never had a problem and it's great. So like selling stuff like books and dvds and cds music <clears throat> i don't sell too many cds but like yeah you get the discounted shipping rate uh if you use media mail and it's uh it's great um also with these uh padded envelopes i don't trust the seal on these so i always just put like a piece of tape across it too this one doesn't look the best but yeah on uh, poly mailers I, I trust the seal but for these i always just put extra tape so it doesn't you know fly open and there's already a line for the estate sale. I just got here just on time at 9 o'clock, so we'll see what's up. Just got out of that estate sale. They did have cool stuff, but it was super overpriced. Um, like, they had Seinfeld seasons used for, like, 8 bucks, 10 bucks for, like, the one set. Like, I mean, they had a bunch of them, but, like, you know, a dollar a piece, I'll pick all those up. Like, if their stuff was, even if their stuff was, like, 50% off, I probably, it's too much to resell. Like, I asked one of the ladies, like, how do you guys price your stuff? They're like, oh, we look it up, just put it, like, a little bit less. So it's just retail for everything. There's nothing there for, like, a reseller. Um, but now I know, like, I'm going to start keeping track of these companies and, like, how they price their things. And, like, I will never go to an estate sale from this company ever again. Um, just because for reselling purposes, it's just not priced right for me. 
Um, I did pick up one t-shirt for two bucks, so I guess I didn't leave empty handed, but um, yeah, it's just two high prices. All right, here's everything I got today. I did end up going to the two yard sales, so um, they were both up and running. I got a few things. <clears throat> got sealed uh, sumo cartoon DVD for a dollar. Got these sealed uh, toothpaste tubes, I got four of them, a uh, buck each. So I'll see if I can sell those. If not, I'll just keep them a dollar for a toothpaste, not bad. <clears throat> I know this is kids clothes, I was talking about how I don't want to buy it, but like got a vintage 1993 Bulls championship like kids shirt for a dollar. Like, come on now. So that's pretty cool. Got this Green Day uh, tour t-shirt for a dollar. Nothing crazy, but for a dollar, can't go wrong. Uh, yeah, 2009. And um, this was the shirt I got at the estate sale for two bucks, just an Elvis shirt. Um, I don't think it's old or anything, but it just looks really cool. For two bucks, I got it. And then I did decide to go to the thrift store because I didn't find too much at yard sales. <clears throat> found Harry Potter book three hardcover for $1.79, not too bad. And I found some shirts. I got this Iron Maiden shirt. I don't think this one's old either, but it still looks pretty cool. This was two forty nine. dollars Got this Fits in the Tantrums uh, band t-shirt. Uh, this was two ninety nine. Got a couple of video game t-shirts. This is Soul Calibur IV. Uh, this was $1.99. Also has a pretty cool graphic on the back. Yeah, pretty cool. And this is, uh, I believe, a PS2 game. I don't know if it was on other consoles as well, but it also has a graphic on the back. And then I'm assuming this is a band, never heard of it, but this was um, $249. So yeah, that's everything I got today. Um, not the greatest, but better than nothing after that first time. A state sale only getting the one item but um i think i'll be able to go to some sales tomorrow so hopefully i'll have more tomorrow it's saturday morning um i have three orders to pull uh i have three sales i'll be shipping those um right now and then after that i'm going to be going to i have six yard sales i can check out and also i have an estate sale but um i'm going to go to the yard sales and see what i can find if i find a decent amount of stuff i'll probably skip the estate sale um if not then i'll probably you know check it out supposed to have like boy scout stuff there but i don't know um yeah we'll just see how the morning goes but um yeah i'll pull these orders get to the post office then get the morning going i had to dig this one out uh this is the first sale it's uh this was actually mine like i didn't buy this to resell i just don't use this anymore it's a pantera guitar tab sheet music book um yeah pretty cool it has like a few songs from each of their uh big albums or something uh, but yeah it sold for uh, 14.99 free shipping Next sale is a pretty good one. It's this uh, Columbia Coffee Maker. Um, I got this at an estate sale with a lot. Like, I got a pile of stuff for 30 bucks, And um, this was one of the things in that pile. Um, yeah. it's, it's brand new. Uh, it's, all, it's all plastic wrapped and all that. Not the outside, but inside. And it uh, ended up selling for $44.99. The last one I had to dig out, too. Um, it's a DS game. Uh, Spider-Man Edge of Time. I got this for a dollar and it sold for $8.99. I just spent $116 at that last yard sale. Just got to this yard sale. It's just like old lady sale and like I just kind of my exit strategy is to ask if they have video games and then if they don't then I just you know leave like that's kind of like what I do. I'll usually ask anyway but she's like wait hold on let me dig up some Game Boy stuff. So I'm waiting for like 10 minutes this lady brings out a bag and it's got like you know has some good games got like a pokemon games got a ds and like i don't know at least like 15 games or something and then she calls her son or whatever to sell it and their son like doesn't want to sell the stuff and he wanted 50 bucks just for the pokemon game and then this lady's like arguing with her son on the phone and like he just wouldn't want to sell his stuff so uh she took my name and number to, so once uh if she talks some sense into him then she'll give me a call but that kind of sucks because i could have walked away with a bag of ds games in a ds system so I got a bunch of stuff at sales today. Um, ended up going to more than six because there was just bonus sales everywhere and community sale and I don't know, all kinds of stuff. So here's where I mentioned earlier, I spent $116 at this sale. Um, <clears throat> first off, 
I don't know what I got myself into, but these are all manga books, but they're all in Japanese. There's like, you know, little sets and stuff. And there's, there's more. There's all this too. I'm not really sure how I'm going to research these or look them up, but for this whole stack, um, ended up being 68 books. They only wanted 10 bucks for it. So it came out to 14 cents a book. So if I can somehow figure out how to like, you know, look these up and make little lots of them of uh, sets, like they're all mixed up now, I think I could do good on it. <clears throat> but yeah, and then I got some uh, little anime DVDs, a buck a piece. The discs are like perfect condition. So I don't know, I didn't look these up. I just took a chance on them. Yep. And um, these figures, I paid I paid ten bucks each for these. I know I paid I paid up for these. Like, um, I'll still make a little bit of money on them, but not much. But the reason I did that was because they gave me a good deal on this. And then the main part of this buy are these uh, graphite alligator. Um, these are like pure graphite, so you can actually like write with it, kind of like a pencil, but they're like shaped in alligators, uh, like. The guy wanted 20 a piece for these, but um, I managed to get him, uh, what is that, seven of them for 80 bucks. So I don't know, I didn't do that math, like 12 or something each. But yeah, so I didn't want to talk him down on this because I wanted to get a good deal on these. So that's why I paid that for those. And then I also feel like I got a really good deal on this stuff once I can just figure out how to sell it. But yeah, this was all from one sale. That was, that was a pretty cool sale. They had a lot of good stuff. Here's some other things I picked up. Uh, video game wise, just a couple uh, 64 games. These, I'm well aware, are not that valuable, but for a buck each, uh, I picked them up. Um, I'll make just a few dollars each on those. Uh, Metroid Prime for GameCube. Uh, I got this for $2, so that should be pretty good. Um, <clears throat> got Seinfeld Season 8 for a dollar. I got this Seal DVD, uh, Life Grow or something for a dollar. Got this uh, HD webcam. This is uh, new, it's never been used. I got this for five bucks, so I don't know. Hopefully I can get 25, 30, maybe more, I'm not sure. Maybe less, who knows. Picked up this book set. I didn't look it up. Um, <clears throat> it just looked like it might have some value. And I got it for five bucks. And the comps are all over the place. I don't know if I'm gonna get 25 bucks for this, 40 bucks, 15, like I have no idea. I'm gonna have to do some more research, but I think, I think I'm going to make some money with this anyway. And this was a gamble. I got this for um, four bucks at a sale. And um, I don't know if it works. I didn't look it up. I just bought it for four bucks. And after looking it up, it doesn't seem like it's um, that valuable. Because this thing is heavy, so it's going to cost a lot to ship. And I don't even know if it works, so I'm going to have to test it. It seems like it's good condition, so I'll have to test it. And... Um, Maybe if I'm lucky, I make some money on it, but most likely I'll break even. Um, but yeah, just got a couple more things. And the last things I picked up were these uh, vintage 90s Bulls sweatshirts. Like, yeah, the, the people only wanted two bucks each for these. Like, get out of here, man. Look at this. These are really cool. You also had this one. This one's kind of raggedy, but still, still good. I think I'll do well with these, especially for two bucks. There doesn't seem to be any holes or anything. So for, for their age, they're in pretty good condition. But yeah, that, that should be everything for this week. Um, yeah, the sales today, like the first two or three I went to, I didn't find anything. And I'm just like, oh man, I'm not going to find nothing today. And then, I don't know, I just kept going and eventually found some stuff. Like, sure, a lot of, some of that stuff is actually like pretty risky. Like those alligators, uh, which I did do the math, by the way, they ended up being 11.42 each. Like those are kind of risky, you know, but um, I don't know. I took a chance because they're, they're small and they're light. They'll be easy to ship too. So yeah, um, I don't know. I took a chance at some of that stuff. Like some of the blind buys like that Panasonic will be bad, but like, I don't know. I'll just have to do a little more research on some of these things, but a lot of it, I think I can make some uh, decent money on, but um, yeah, uh, just as I thought yard sales were slowing down, I found a decent amount of stuff, which is good because um, Q4 is coming up. So going to need a lot of, uh, list as much as possible before that starts to get sales for Christmas and all that kind of stuff. But hopefully we'll still have yard sales for, you know, a little while still, but, um, yeah, until next time.